So the helicopter starts at the toe of the mudslide. It's my understanding that the toe of the mudslide is about 20 to 40 feet deep. And then the helicopter proceeds to go up valley along the mudslide. Now we're hitting a ridge where the mudslide left the channel. It uh, ran up the side of the hill and over over the side into the next drainage. And the sheriff uh, at the press conference was suggesting that that is an indication uh, that this stuff was moving really quickly, if it can, can push itself yeah. uphill. Yes, and, and these things typically don't happen all at once. They happen in surges, and sometimes you can get the bottom material may have a higher viscosity, um, and then you can get material that contains more water and it's more fluid, and it can override the top, and, and so these things can ride up over each other. So now we're just going up into the, the head of where the landslide started. And it's my understanding from talking to some of the geolo- our geologists on the ground that in this particular area, the deposits may be 100, 150 feet thick that filled in the channel. How is it that they determine that? Just from looking at topographic maps and seeing where the bottom of the channel was before, and now we get to where the mudslide started as a landslide. And you can see where the mountainside slumped, and we have a scarp, a landslide scarp at the top, which is it looks to be about approximately uh, 100 feet high. And it's my understanding now we have water filling this area, which is of concern. Is that typical where you see the existing mountainside, the trees, very lush forest, and then slash, and there's just this steep now cliff or very steep slope where there's just nothing on it at all. Right, and that's where uh, the landslide detached from the um, mountainside. And so what you're seeing is um, that separation of where it moved 100 feet down, at least probably 100 feet down and out. So we can see at the top here when you say there's trees and then there's no trees, the area um, where there aren't any trees and it's almost vertical like a a slide plane is what we call the landslide scarp. So that's where it moved from. And then you can see how it's tilted back into the slope and that's where water is collecting 